Hi everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to another video and uh, once again we're going to be taking a look at a Bounding Into Comics article about uh, the series Love Hina from Ken Akamatsu and uh, his thoughts on uh, political correctness possibly infiltrating the manga and anime community and really it's, it's a terrible thing and, and you've seen the downfall of so many other hobbies and, and how you know these people target everything they, they've gone after movies, television shows, children's cartoon shows it's in every commercial you see. It's in video games. Uh, they went after, like, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. Like, they're, they're fucking nuts. Like, <clears throat> with, with, with Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons, from what I understand, there there's a, you know, sort of like playing Final Fantasy. You have a white mage, you have a black mage, you have a blue mage, and the white mage is the healer, and the black mage causes damage, and they, like, found racism in that. These people are fucking nuts. So, they're always trying to, like, ruin everything, and a lot of these people don't even like these things. Like, you saw they did a Star Wars. It's like, they don't care about Star Wars. Although Star Wars is more of a normie thing, but, you know, they've just gone after everything, and, and like, really, do they do they care about manga or anime? It's like, you know, I, I grew up watching, you know, the anime on, on Toonami, like Dragon Ball Z, and Gundam Wing, and Yu Yu Hakusho. I saw Inuasha. I've, I've seen, like, all that stuff. Uh, then, of course, on Kids WB, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! I love those two. And, um, you know, so I never really read manga. I've only recently got into reading manga. Like, last summer, I, I read Battle Angel Alita because I, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought the movie was great. So I said, let me go back and read read the manga. And I, I did. I enjoyed that as well. Um, I, of course, I've read the Dragon Ball manga because, like I said, I grew up watching that shit as a kid. And I, you know, of course, had to read that. Um... And then recently I started reading Eden Zero, and, and aside from that, I really haven't read much manga at all. So I've just got into that recently, and I'm not about to cancel it or inject political correctness. I'm, I'm definitely against that stuff. I love the big anime titties and, you know, the fun action and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's just interesting to, to, to see, like, how these people go after things that they don't even like from time to time. But you have this guy, uh, Ken Akamatsu, the mangaka behind the series Love Hina which was a um, Haram series from, like, the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not really sure if I would like this. Uh, from my understanding, it's pretty popular, but just based on looking at the images and, you know, reading a little bit about the Wikipedia, it might not be for me. But if you have read it, leave me a comment down below and, and say if I could check it out or not. But uh, anyway, uh, Ken Akamatsu here uh, warns that the rising pressure from foreign markets is going to introduce political correctness into manga. And that's because you see right now, manga is selling more than Marvel and DC Comics. So he says, Ken Akamatsu, perhaps best known as the mangaka behind the extremely popular Love Hina series, recently shared his concerns regarding the rising pressure from Western markets to introduce political correctness into manga and the possible negative effects such a push could have for creators and fans across the medium. Damn right. So let's get to um, right here. So he was talking... In the panel, and uh, in short, it's political correctness. His thoughts on what's gonna uh, cause the downfall of manga. Political correctness, external pressure is coming, such as the pressure to introduce political correctness into manga and movies. But you see that in movies. The mangaka added, that's dangerous, isn't it? Akamatsu then explained, so far, when Japanese manga is at the stage of looking at the world, there is pressure on the scene to meet the global standards. Why? They should, you know, just sell it to the Japanese. And if, if the people in America or, or UK or Europe or wherever who like the niche genre, they like it, they should read it. Don't try to appeal to these people who don't even like the thing to begin with. I'd like to have the manga artists unify their opinions to some extent as to whether such things are correct or not, he continued. However, when the sales of works that have become globalized and have no sharp edges are good, they end up saying, oh, political crisis might be good. No, it's not. It would not be good. So, veteran mangaka sentiments were echoed by co-panelist Takuma Kobayashi, the representative director of publishing at House Number no. 9, who similarly opinion, regardless of the company, I think that freedom of expression should be respected in my personal opinion. Damn right. I mean, like this, you know, 
from what I get gathered from the genre, it's about a bunch of ladies and, and a dude or whatever. <laughs> so, you know, obviously not real world stuff. It's a, it's a, you know, escapism. That's, that's the point of this. We don't want political correctness in there. We want to escape the realities of the world after a long, hard day at work. We want to go home and watch a movie that doesn't interject real life stuff or play a video game that doesn't interject real life stuff or read a manga that is just a fun adventure or, you know, a slice of life comedy, whatever. Akamatsu later remarked, if you don't go abroad, the political correctness problem isn't a battle at all, which prompted Kobayashi to share his personal idea that I don't think a, a series will sell that much when it comes to selling itself as politically correct. He's damn right, because you see with Marvel and DC, as they've gotten more politically correct, more and more people have left. Whereas J Japan, they stick to their culture and, and their uh, themes and, and you know their stories, and it's selling like crazy here. The point is, Manga that was released without being conscious of political correctness cannot be read due to the political correctness problem. I think this is a mess, like a fire. He's absolutely right. Uh, then talk more about like the Hollywood movies. And uh, right here, in turning to the debate of mass appeal versus artistic authenticity, Akamato observed, the one that hits may go to Hollywood, but it's better to have freedom of expression. How many uh, manga series have you seen that's like actually translated well into like the big screen? I'll give you some examples. You have Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> that sucked. Avatar The Last Airbender, directed by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. That sucked. That was probably one of the worst movies of all time. Uh, Death Note, which I think was like a Netflix series. I never saw it. I don't really, can't give you an opinion. You have Cowboy Bebop, which they're doing right now. Looks god awful. Have you seen what the actor for Vicious looks like? Are you fucking kidding me? And, and also, Faye, she's got these tattoos. Did she have tattoos in the anime? No. And then literally, they, they cast Jet Black, who's a retired cop, who is white in the show, voiced by Bo Billingsley in the English dub, a, a black man. But in the anime, they cast him as a black person. Literally, the dude's name is Jet Black. He, he will cast a black man, right? When, when, clearly, if you watch the show, he's fucking white, but <laughs> whatever. So, yeah. Um, manga is mainly about freedom of expression. It feels like you don't give in to political correctness, Akamatsu noted. Is it a loss if politically correct works get overwhelming power? I wonder what that means. So, the <coughs> excuse me. The fact of the matter is, you know... Let, let the SJWs have what they want, and, and the Japanese shouldn't bend the knee to this. They, they should continue telling the stories that they like and uh, telling their adventures and going off the rails. And if, if we like it, we'll, we'll continue to read it. But, um, I just think it's stupid for, um, you know, th these, these people to, to try and appeal to the SJW crowd because it's like the, the manga's already selling like hotcakes, people love these stories. And what well, he said, the ability to have freedom. There's never been like a, a good Hollywood produced um, anime like or manga that's been translated to the big screen. Like there's been so many failed examples. Uh, like I said, I personally like dubs, but you've seen like the activism that takes place in dubbing studios like Funimation. And now they canceled Vic Mignona for allegations. And uh, really, I mean, all, all the cast members have, have remained. I mean, Vic Mignona voiced Broly in the three Broly movies in the 2000s and they brought him back in 2018 to um, continue voicing Brawly in uh, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, you know, Sean Schemmel, Chris Sabat, uh, Kyle Haber, um, you know, they've all stayed around and continued voicing their same characters for decades. And uh, it's just crazy, but you, you see this political correctness shit take place everywhere. Like in the gaming world, you, you, you saw with, um, what was it, Battlefield? Battlefield 5, they had a woman fighting in, in Nazi Germany. Um, they had The Last of Us. <coughs> Excuse me. Where um, they killed off Joel, who was like the main character, I guess, and they replaced him with this lesbian woman. What the fuck? Uh, you see it with all the commercials, with all the um, all the movies, everything. It's, it's They've taken over everything, and uh, manga is like the only safe haven at this point. So... I don't know. I, I, I suggest people continue to gatekeep it and, and push these weirdos away. Say, get the fuck out of here. Go 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 uh, watch whatever you, you were watching before this. Leave my hobby alone. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day.